All right, this is an egg from uh, my second turn eight clutch. It's a day 86 or 80. Yeah, it's 86. I was gonna say 87. I don't think it's 87. It's 86. Um, the last clutch took almost 90. Well, right around 90. So I have a feeling these aren't ready, but I'm still gonna cut one to see what's going on. And uh, this is I use a really small throwaway surgical blade to to cut these eggs, and uh, I just do a little little cut here. And it probably still has, and this thing looks like a platinum. It's not, well, the female might be something, I don't know. But uh, she definitely looks different than most other turnates. The male looks similar to her, that's why I bred them together. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, I'd say they got, these veins are pretty small, but I'd say it's still got another three days or so. And, uh, man, if they look good, they're going to look a lot different than the last clutch. But, yeah, I like using these smaller blades uh, or an X-Acto knife. You make a really, really small cut, and uh, you don't have to go, you know, it just goes barely into the shell. You cut, and as you can see, it didn't, didn't do much damage to any veins at all. And uh, everything peels right away from the uh, egg shell. So, and then it's a... Uh, good to go. There's other methods, uh, you know, that kind of attack the egg in a chainsaw-like razor blade fashion. Uh, it's pretty prominent out there in California, I think, but uh, I, I prefer this method, just uh, making a small little cut with a really small blade and then uh, putting that back. And, and In this case, the snake's not ready, um, just take a piece of wet paper towel Put it right over it. That way, it won't suck the moisture out. Keep it wet. You don't have to worry about stuff drying out. That way, if say a gnat or something gets into your incubator, um, you know, if that happens, they'll go right into that egg and you know, drop off uh, eggs. And you have like, you know, you don't want anything like that to happen. Not that it'll do any real damage, but it's it's still you just don't want flies in your eggs or little baby maggots in there. And that can actually happen if you have any any kind of gnats or flies at all popping up in the snake room. Uh, you know, an egg like that would be a perfect spot. So, yeah, that'll keep it nice and wet, and it'll be fine for the next however long it takes to hatch, which will probably only be about three days, maybe maybe four.